The Infinity Shield is easily the most beloved streaming device in the Android space, but without an update over the past five years and without one on the horizon, should you be looking at the Google TV streamer as a replacement? Let's try and answer that question. Before that, how about you subscribe to the channel for more content just like this, Android TV, Google TV, you name it, we will cover it. And if you want to join the channel as well, you'll get access to all of our wallpaper packs, exclusive content and much more on top. That is a big bonus for those of you who want all of Android and a little bit more on top. So the five-year-old Nvidia Shield TV, specifically that $199 Pro model, was the king of the spec sheet for a really long time. But in 2024, it's starting to lose some of that charm a little bit slightly. The Shield TV Pro is powered by an Nvidia Tegra X1 Plus processor. That chip does have plenty of raw power and launched in 2019 with the latest version of the Shield. But the Tegra X1 that it's actually based upon is the same chip that powers the Nintendo Switch, which first debuted back in 2015, making it almost a decade old. As such, it's lacking in a few important areas. It does support 4K HDR and Nvidia's AI upscaling, which is an incredible value add on its own right, and I can make an old video on that if I really wanted to, as it means you can watch 1080p content officially at 4K with that upscale option. Definitely think it's worth it. There's also Dolby Vision and Atmos, but it lacks AV1 codec support, which is a key codec for the future of streaming. One notable thing the Shield lacks as a result is support for HDR video when you're watching YouTube and some other services. The chip itself is powerful, but it's paired with three gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of built-in storage. Another area that the Shield specs are slightly starting to show their age though is the HDMI port, which is still on HDMI 2.0B. Meanwhile, the brand new Google TV streamer sports a technically tamer but more up-to-date package for you to pick from. The MediaTek 8696 chipset that powers this show and is under the hood is the same one that's found in the Amazon Fire TV Stick Max 4K, which is a terrible name, but is a plenty capable device, but not nearly as powerful as the Tegra found in the Shield. It is though paired with four gigabytes of RAM, which we found helps makes the device feel quite snappy and overall comparable to the Shield in terms of experience, which I think is a key point here. The Google TV streamer also has twice as much storage at 32 gigabytes, supports AV1 out of the box, and has a HDMI 2.1B port. Is the Google TV streamer though matching the Shield TV? I think in many ways, disappointingly it doesn't. Nvidia's box still has a lot more raw power, which is kind of shocking when you consider that the chip itself is the chip it's based on is either 10 years old and despite being out of date in some areas it's shown time and time again that it's up to the task of complicated home theater systems and setups the google tv streamer does still need to prove itself in that arena but i do think it's fairly solid so far as far as the hardware goes the shield's design feels a throwback to that gaming or heavy gaming area but it is very utilitarian compared to google's the shield has its signature green light an angular look and feel, but the slim profile does make use of its size with extra ports. On the back of the shield, you'll find a power port, two USB 3.0 ports, a gigabit ethernet port, and that HDMI 2.0 port that I mentioned. With the Google TV streamer, the design is noticeably cleaner, and I think it should better fit into any home theater system or setup, but it's also perhaps a little bigger than it needs to be, seeing as it has fewer ports out of the box. There's just a single USB-C port, that's used for power as well as external storage and expansion if you want to hook up an adapter and there's that hdmi 2.1 port and a gigabit ethernet port if you want wide internet as well so google tv and android tv are built on the same platform but vary quite considerably and these are the two versions of the software that run here android tv is the legacy experience and the one that google is mostly starting to move away from as of 2024 it does have a lot of the same features as google tv or the same core features including things like free channels in certain regions and plenty of ads or recommendations as they're calling them. Something that the Shield finally gave into in 2021. I do think overall it's a cleaner, if slightly outdated look for the home screen, to be completely honest with you, but Google TV has its fair share of advantages right away. The home screen is definitely, uh, definitely following a more modern design throughout with better integration with your libraries of content and it has a, just a cleaner settings menu as well. 
You'll also get more content recommendations on the home screen compared to Android TV, though that's certainly a matter of preference for you. There are also new features on Google TV that are unlikely to come to this older Android TV experience, including the new home panel, which enables things like controlling your home devices and Nest Dolby notifications, which I think is another great addition to your home screen system. Another advantage you'll probably find on the Google TV streamer is its longevity or perceived longevity. While Nvidia's support for the Shield TV over time has quite literally been unprecedented in Android's history, it seems that it's almost dried up as the device hasn't seen an update uh, since 2022, it's quite a long time. A Google TV upgrade is probably never going to happen as a result of that, as we've not seen that happen with any other device in the NVIDIA lineup. Meanwhile, the Google TV streamer ships with the latest version of Android 14 that is actually three updates newer than the Shield's Android 11 build, that might not matter to you, but it does make a lot of difference, at least in terms of security and of course the feature set and capabilities that you might want to run if you do want to run custom ROMs on this if it is your main home theater system. So for both of these devices, the remotes do seem to follow a very simple philosophy, and that is, well, simplicity. The Google TV streamer and the Shield both have remotes with limited numbers of buttons and a fairly simple and easy to grasp layout. They also have that customizable shortcut button as well. So who wins? Really, everyone does here, but it's one of those things that I think the ergonomics of the Google TV streamer might win out. The Shield TV does get some serious points for being backlit though, which makes it easy to use in darkened environments. There is a Find My Remote option for both of these devices too, but the Google TV streamer does make it a little bit easier to, to use just a remote on the back of the device and access through Google Home. The Shield TV Pro requires you to do this through its dedicated mobile app, so you will need to have your mobile to access it. Which one you prefer is completely up to you. The question of whether you should buy the Google TV streamer or an NVIDIA Shield TV is a remarkably simple one to answer. And you can find that out by simply asking yourself what it is you want to do. If you just want to use streaming applications by, like YouTube, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Hulu, all of those kind of things, the Google TV streamer is probably going to be enough for you and might be the way to go. I think in terms of its actual experience, it feels just as fast, has capable hardware, and is half the price of the Shield TV Pro. If you want to host streaming content, plug in lots of peripherals and extras, and have an improved game streaming support experience via GeForce Now, the obvious choice is still the Shield TV Pro. It has more ports available, and the Plex integration is that you'll find here you just won't find anywhere else. In the past, we've also found that the Shield is just simply better or better up to the task of more complex home theater environments compared to others out there on the market. It's really impressive how good the Shield TV Pro continues to be five years after launch. There aren't many pieces of tech that have this kind of longevity and offer such a great experience from end to end, from launch to the day that potentially it's been unsupported. I wanna ask you, where do you fall? Which of these devices seems to better suit your needs? Are you actually considering switching from the Shield to the Google TV streamer? I have heard a lot of you out there are displeased with this newer streaming system. And in some ways I can see that's that's pretty right. That's rightfully so. You, you're entitled to be annoyed that Google didn't put one of the most powerful chipsets in their device. But while it isn't the most powerful, I do think it is a good option, even if it doesn't matter to you. Let us know in the comment sections below. I'm genuinely interested to hear what you feel about these devices because they're slightly different to lots of other technology out there. They just sit behind your TV and run your streaming systems. And I wanna say before I head off, a huge shout out to our channel members on screen. Now, I wonder what side of the fence you guys fall on. Cheers for watching though, and I will speak to you later.